here we developed a device to measure uh, reliably the deformability of red blood cells. UBC researchers are another step closer to helping blood banks find so-called super donors by measuring the ability of a donor's red blood cells to squeeze through microscopic spaces. It's an important factor in determining how long the cells will live in the recipient's body. So then can you explain just how this machine actually works? Yeah, so it's a microfluidic device um, and what it is is, is it's actually um, uh, it's a piece of glass with a transparent silicone on top, and there are microstructures in the silicones in there that squeeze red blood cells. So red blood cells are infused into there, and they're squeezed by the, the fluid flow uh, in, inside this device. Of course, all this takes place on the cellular level. What does it actually look like under the microscope? Yeah, I'd like to introduce you to Mel. Uh, she's a graduate student at UBC who, who uh, is doing the research on this, in this area. And uh, here she's showing you a video of how this device works. Um, so those black dots that are moving, those are red blood cells. And the white dots are, are constrictions that red blood cells are being deformed through. And so if the cells are soft, then they can deform through uh, smaller constrictions and go to a higher level. When If the uh, cells are, are rigid, then, then they stay at, at a lower level. And this way, red blood cells are sorted based on their deformability. Ma says this technique has been in development for years and has the power to help blood banks stretch their supply. Yeah, so using this technology, what we're hoping to be able to do is to predict how um, the quality of red blood cells before they're transfused into, into, uh, into patients. And so if we can figure out which uh, blood units are going to circulate longer, we can give them to sensitive patients. And what that means is that those blood will last longer in, in the, in for those patients, and there will be more uh, blood for everyone that needs a transfusion. The team here now plans to work with Canadian Blood Services to test more donor samples in the near future to further develop their device and hopefully validate their results here in the lab. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.